Um, this is just a post. I, I don't like to, um, I think it's more important in life to be a good winner, even sometimes than to be a good loser. But this is just a public service announcement to my friend, the Atheist Jew blog. I will, uh, I will link your, uh, your little post and my, which you linked my post against masturbation. Um, and also, uh, kvetcher.net also had a post entitled, Ill Please Stop. When I, when I, again, talked about the, 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 the habit that is masturbation, the habit by some men anyway, there was an article uh, written, it's a study that was done, and um, apparently this uh, habit in your 20s and 30s leads to prostate cancer. Now I say this not in jest, and I say this not to brag to you that I was right or anything like that, this is very scary. Uh, cancer is still one of the things that remind us that there is a God in the world and He can outsmart us whenever He wants, uh, sending us a disease that we do not know how to cure, unfortunately. Um, I will link this article um, and I will just briefly read it to you. Um, it's from LC News. A recent study will have men shaking in their boxers if they choked the chicken a bit too much in their younger years. Researchers at the University of Nottingham have determined that men who masturbate often in their 20s and 30s are far more prone to developing prostate cancer. Scientists surveyed 800 men. It's a pretty good sample size. I mean, not for uh, you know a global study, but something. And about half of them had suffered from prostate cancer. The same data could be attributed to gentlemen that got their Mac on frequently with the ladies, but the higher sexual activity was generally credited to the act of self-love which is uh, such a misnomer. If you really love yourself, you wouldn't touch yourself like that, in my opinion. You'd respect yourself more. And uh, not to make a joke out of this, but God has clearly told us not to do this. So if you love yourself, and loving yourself means obviously loving your God, you, you, you respect yourself, you respect God, you, you respect that this is actually His body, He's loaning it to you, and, uh, and you're not just to do with it what you please. And it says, ironically, and this is the part that, that is often quoted by people who have no self-control, Men over 40 that jerk off, in their words, or shag a lot of babes, in their words, can reduce the risk of prostate cancer. Masturbation clearly needs a great publicist to stop this bad press. Uh, end of article. Um, this is depressing. However, I just want to thank God for writing this out clearly in the Torah. And I'm not one of these people who will tell you that I can tell you why God does certain things. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that God, as a punishment for masturbation, made it so that if you do it in your 20s and 30s, you'll die of prostate cancer, or you'll get prostate cancer, God forbid. I don't believe that. It says in the Star of Hashem Elokeinu that the hidden things of the universe, the hidden secrets, they're only for God to know. But I will tell you, thank you, God, for writing in the Torah not to masturbate, for telling us how serious it is. And now that science has, of course, once again proved that the Torah is right, hopefully this subject will not, be, will not bring a blushes of embarrassment to people. I was on another website and someone said, Oh, please, if you don't like masturbation or pornography, you must be gay. I said, either I'm gay or I have way too much respect for God Almighty's tar. It's one of those two things. And um, something tells me I'm not gay. So this is just something I, I, I would strongly encourage you to take this seriously. This is a disease that we cannot cure. And I don't know exactly what, what would happen if you got this in the prostate. You'd probably have to remove the entire prostate. I don't know if that's possible. I'm not a doctor, but I'm just telling you, as much as you can, keep your hands off yourselves and, you know, have other outlets. I suggested this on, on the, the Atheist Jew website. Work out if you have such an energy. Just dance. Um, you know, do art. Um, cook. Do something with your body that's not involving this. And um, now it's just become a matter of health. And it's really a matter of life or death because this will kill you, I think this type of cancer, most cancers, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly, but it's basically a matter of health now, it's not just a matter of God doesn't want us masturbating, so let's get, oh, who cares about God, what God thinks, it's a matter of health, so I would encourage each and every one of my viewers, anyone who can hear these words, to just practice, and it's one thing at a time, no one's going to quit cold turkey this thing, trust me, anyone who's tried will tell you, this takes a lot of exertion, and a lot of effort, and no one's perfect, and you're going to slip up, I I'm pretty sure, unless you're a perfectly righteous individual, don't be discouraged. The point is to cut down. Make yourself a goal. Say, maybe I can make it, you know, 40 days. Maybe if that's too much, 30 days, 20 days. Make yourself realistic goals that you can handle. 
eventually you'll be at 80 days and, and et cetera, et cetera. But start small and don't get discouraged by setbacks. And slowly but surely you will be able to eradicate this, 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 this cancer-causing habit from your life. If you're over 40, obviously it doesn't apply. But what does still apply is, is God Almighty's uh, request to you not to do it. And his injunction that it's uh, one of the most serious prohibitions in the entire Torah. Thank you so much. And may God Almighty bless us all with good, good health and longevity. It says in the Gemara, by the way, uh, 99, two rabbis are walking by, he says, you know, 99% of these people, what, he said 1% of these people passed away because uh, it was their time to go. 99% passed away because of sexual uh, sin. And, and, and the understanding is, I think, masturbation. Anyway, God bless and uh, have a good Shabbos. Thank you so much.